We are now heading upstairs to the day ward and we follow the friendly dragon sign. Point out first yeah. patients have been chosen yesterday evening and they're marked on the board as first. We'll go over and have a look. Right. Okay, so on our board we've highlighted our first patients. As you can see they're marked as the first. They're easily identifiable for each person of the team who has to see them before they go to the patient. Day ward, Denise. Hi Anya, let's confirm who's first patient then. First patient the ENT is Jessica, she's here and she's ready to go. So have you ever had to give this before? Okay, and do you know if you're here to Trinity? No. Any family illnesses or anything that runs in the family? No, I don't think so. Okay, and all right. Yes. No, we're just going to take a seat over here until we're checked in. Here we have Anne O'Brien, theatre manager. Kay O'Brien, consultant Denise's and Denise trainer, day ward manager. The children are reviewed in the morning, staged by an anaesthetist, and it's explained to them what, they're, what is going to happen to them and how it's going to proceed. And it's all done in a nice, timely manner. And the anaesthetist now currently comes in earlier in the morning to ensure that there's no delay in their taking them out to the theatre. So we identify the patients then in collaboration with the day ward as to who actually has arrived in and is admitted. The same person then runs the theatre huddle, which is when all the staff come on in the morning at 7.30. Uh, this patient has been identified as the first patient. She is not for a pre-med and she'll be here at 10 to 8. Each patient then is uh, identified as per which theatre it is going into. And the same person then sends for all the patients and has them here for uh, 10 minutes prior to the list starting. We've previously spoken about choosing the patients the night before, confirming that they will be in at first. Secondly, the clerking of the patients is done the evening before, so the charts are all ready to go. And then part of the admission in the ward, we change the process of our paperwork. So our paperwork is now attached to the bed that the child is going into. We review the chart and put what we need onto this. That keeps the chart free for the SHO to come and do consent and do the admission and for the anaesthetic people to take the chart to do their review. We started this off, I suppose, as, as a pilot project. And we started off with one theatre one day a week. And we've now rolled it out to all the theatres, which is three to four theatres, five days a week. And we have had a few, I suppose, interesting exceptions because two of our lists do not start with day ward patients. They start with inpatients. And we've now had the consultant surgeons from those lists. And they've asked us to try and come up with some way of actually integrating them into the process as well. So this process has been expanded, it's been sustained and it's been to the benefit of both the patient and theatre time and utilisation.